Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat Paddock, and today I thought we would do something a little more different. I was totally inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Lacey Faye from the Vintage Girl Next Store, and she created a World War II ration cake from scratch using the ingredients that was true to the recipe back in the day. So I thought I would do the exact same cake featuring my favorite canister set from the 1950s. We have the cake here, all ready to go. And stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it and I'll post the recipe on the side. Set your oven to 350 degrees. And starting with my vintage nesting bowls, I'm going to separate the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients in separate bowls. I'm going to get out my measuring cups because I'm going to need them for this whole recipe. I'm starting with the flour. I'm going to use one and a half cups of white baking flour and I'm going to put them in one bowl. I'm then taking one whole cup of white sugar and I'm going to put that in a different bowl. And then I'm going to take one teaspoon of baking soda and add it to the sugar bowl. And then I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to add it as well to the sugar bowl. And then I'm going to take a third cup of vegetable oil and I'm going to put it in its separate bowl for the start of the wet ingredients. I'm just grabbing my vanilla extract. I'm going to use a teaspoon of that and add it to the wet ingredient bowl as well. And then I'm going to add a one cup of water to the wet ingredients bowl. And then I'm going to start with the vinegar. I'm going to add a tablespoon of vinegar, um, white vinegar to the wet ingredients. And then for the cocoa, one quarter cup of cocoa to the dry ingredients bowl. Now we have all the ingredients and I'm going to start combining the dry ingredients by pouring one bowl into the other. I'm going to mix thoroughly with my whisk and when that is mixed I'm going to add my wet ingredients and start mixing that. I'm just going to talk a little bit about my vintage hoosier that I'm baking on right now. This is a 1920s vintage hoosier that I repainted because it needed a little extra love and I also wanted it to suit the kitchen. Uh, one day I will post a video about the vintage hoosier, but I just wanted to highlight that while we're just waiting for the monotonous of the stirring of the whisk. It's going to get really thick and I'm taking a greased cake pan and I'm going to add the cake batter to it. And once it's all ready, I'm going to put it into the oven for 30 minutes. This is why you wear an apron when you cook and bake. Now that I've dusted myself off, I'm going to show you my cute vintage cake ba cake holder that I'll be putting this cake in. This cake holder matches the canister set that I was showing you guys earlier on. This is a 1950 set that I got at an antique store and I absolutely am in love. So we're going to put the cake in for 30 minutes. And I'm going to test that batter. <laughs> it's actually super delicious, you guys. You have no idea unless you make this cake. 30 minutes later, this cake is ready to go. I let it sit down for, I let it cool down for 10 minutes, and then I flip it upside down so it actually goes right into the cake holder. And when it's finished, traditionally, the recipe calls for icing sugar to be um, sprinkled on top and strawberries to be added. I didn't have any strawberries, so I decided icing sugar was the best way to go. everybody for watching how I made the World War II fashion cake. Again, my name is Kat Panic. If you like more of these vintage cooking videos, please like, subscribe, comment down below, 
and I have a feeling we'll be seeing a few more of them. Again, follow my favorite YouTuber, Lacey Bay. I'll post her link on the side as well. And let's try this out. Well, let's try it out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little impressed. This might be actually the best cake I've ever made from scratch. I think it might be the first cake I've ever made from scratch. And this cake is actually, I guess you would consider it vegan. Since there are no bi animal byproducts into it, in it. There are no eggs, there is no milk, and there's no butter. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm actually, I might finish this whole cake tonight. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. I can dig it. Going down just a little bit easier than I thought it would.